Well, it's this Pacific system that has millions of eyes on it, and that's because it's bringing quite the weather whiplash to parts of the U.S. Uh, I'll bring you through the Canadian ca connection in just a moment, but in terms of snowfall, this has the potential of dropping not one, but two meters or more of snowfall for the mountainous areas of Eastern California and parts of Nevada. Now, again, in terms of the Canadian connection, we've had snowfall already over the past several days across Southern British Columbia. Here are some gorgeous wintry scenes coming out of Squamish, and you can expect some flurries to continue through uh, North Vancouver, through the metro area, some snow showers. But the main travel impact here is going to be for parts of eastern Vancouver Island, specifically for the Malahat. That continues through this afternoon and evening and eventually eases. Same thing through uh, the metro area. And then by Thursday, we get a little bit of lingering moisture again, same with uh, same connection with that Pacific system for parts of southeastern British Columbia. That eventually eases by late week, but the cold is here to stay across parts of the prairies. Those wind chill values making Saskatchewan and Manitoba feel a lot closer to minus 30 or lower for the rest of this week. Now, the good news is this Arctic air will slowly start to relax, especially across parts of eastern prairies where we will get back to near seasonal values but that cold is in on its way for parts of Ontario and Quebec. And this is the perfect recipe for some lake effect snow squalls. Again, we've seen uh, quite a bit of snow with the system that pushed through parts of Southern Ontario earlier on Tuesday, uh, giving way to anywhere between eight to 10 or more centimeters for parts of the GTA. That has now pushed off, again, in comes Arctic air and allows for a little bit of lake effect snow. We're not expecting tremendous amounts of snow with these bands. Again, those will meander back and forth throughout the course of your Thursday and Friday. And this is all due to the fact that we have upper level spin in the atmosphere and that will sit across parts of eastern Canada as we head into the end of this week uh, including Atlantic Canada so this will give way to slightly un unsettled conditions at times for parts of the Maritimes and Newfoundland but overall a mix of sun and cloud and seasonal temperatures.